This $200 billion Turkish mega dam has broken all records. Imagine a colossal structure that defies comprehension, a masterpiece that harnesses the raw power of nature to deliver electricity on an unprecedented scale. The Turkish mega dam embodies ambition and innovation, showcasing the incredible capabilities of human determination in the face of immense challenges. Turkey is currently involved in several significant hydropower projects. Welcome to another video from our channel, Dawn Luxury. Today, we'll focus on two of these projects. Let's start with a hydroelectric dam that is presently being constructed on the Kuroki River in Artvin province, located in the Black Sea region. The construction of this colossal hydroelectric power plant is nearing completion. Unfortunately, as a consequence of this project, the town of Yusufeli, situated approximately 8 kilometers or 5 miles away from the dam, will be submerged. It's worth noting that humans have been constructing water-blocking structures for centuries, primarily for agricultural purposes. However, the dams built in the past differ significantly from modern structures, which stand out due to their impressive size and incorporate remarkable engineering and technological advancements. These contemporary structures feature immense cement walls equipped with sluices and gates strategically placed across rivers. Additionally, the height of the dam determines its storage capacity with taller dams capable of holding larger volumes of water. In case of the Eli Dam, it's projected to reach a height of 270 meters, making it the tallest dam in Turkey and the seventh tallest globally. Construction on the concrete arc type dam began on December 21, 2012 as part of the Kuriki River Development Plan. This ambitious plan involves the construction of 13 dams in total. At present, two dams are already operational. While two more are currently being constructed, once finished, the dam, named La Dam, will rank as the second largest within this development initiative. The main objective of La Dam is to generate hydroelectric power, supporting a power plant with a substantial capacity of 540 megawatts. However, concerns have been raised regarding the dam's impact on biodiversity within its reservoir and the displacement of local residents, resulting in the controversy surrounding its construction. In terms of energy production, the hydroelectric power plant associated with the dam is expected to generate an annual output of 1.9 billion kilowatt hours, boasting a total capacity of 558 megawatts. This significant power output will be capable of fulfilling the energy needs of around 650,000 individuals. Simultaneously, the project will encompass a staggering 4 million cubic meters of concrete equivalent to the construction materials needed for 50,000 houses. The dam's crest will be positioned at an elevation of 715 meters above sea level, while its normal operating level will be at 710 meters. The reservoir, spanning an expanse of 33 square kilometers, will have a maximum level of 712 meters and a minimum level of 670 meters. Its total storage capacity will reach a remarkable 2 billion cubic meters with 1 billion cubic meters actively stored. To facilitate controlled water release, the dam spillway will be ingeniously designed as a spillway chute capable of accommodating a maximum capacity of 8,000 cubic meters. Integrating seamlessly within the dam, an underground power plant will stretch 110 meters in length, 21.4 tenths of meter in width, and 45.2 tenths of meter in height. Within this power plant, three Francis turbines with vertical shafts will generate 110 megawatts each. The construction process entails pouring an impressive 6,500 cubic meters of concrete daily using three overhead lines. Innovative cable crane technology has been implemented on site to enhance the construction process. This specialized system transports heavy construction equipment through the air, facilitating movement across varying slopes. Once fully operational, the dam will boast an impressive installed capacity of 1,900 megawatts, generating an annual electricity production of 560 billion kilowatt hours. Such a significant energy output will meet the annual energy demand of a large city such as Antalya. Upon the completion of the Uzumlu hydroelectric dam, the country's hydroelectric power generation capacity will experience a remarkable 2% increase. This extraordinary engineering achievement will serve as a testament to the exceptional capabilities of the Turkish people and stand as a monumental accomplishment for future generations. Final inspections are currently underway before the dam commences its official operation. The undertaking involved not only the building of a dam, but also the development of an extensive infrastructure network. This encompassed the construction of 110 kilometers, 68 miles of roads, along with 45 tunnels, 22 bridges, and 92 culverts. The projected outcome is expected to contribute $83.5 million annually to the country's economy and achieve self-sustainability within a span of seven years. 
The Dardanelles holds an esteemed position in the heart of Turkey for its no ordinary stretch of water. Stretching across 120 kilometers 75 miles, this narrow passage of just 4 kilometers 2.5 miles in width acts as a vital lifeline, seamlessly connecting the Black Sea to the Mediterranean Sea. It served as more than just a mere waterway, it's the gateway that opens doors for resource-rich nations to tap into the vast global market. Moreover, standing proudly alongside its neighboring Bosporus Strait, it proudly marks the boundary between two great continents, Europe and Asia. To bring this ambitious vision to life, an extraordinary project was undertaken. The construction involved the installation of deep foundations that reached an astounding depth of 40 meters, fortified by waterproof structures, meticulously engineered to withstand even the most powerful earthquakes. Atop each of these colossal foundations, a base was carefully positioned to support a large bridge that would reach unprecedented heights. The magnificent Chenakale 1915 Bridge, a marvel of modern engineering. This bridge proudly showcases a central span measuring an impressive 20-23 meters, making it a strong contender for the title of the suspension bridge with the longest average span in the entire world. But its grandeur doesn't stop there, the bridge stretches out to a total length of 4608 meters. The primary cables of the Chanakali bridge consist of 126 wires amounting to approximately 162,000 kilometers 100,000 miles in length, with each cable spanning 4330 meters. In total, the project utilized 296 steel cables exclusively for the main cables. Furthermore, the endeavor included the construction of one suspension bridge, two access viaducts, four reinforced concrete viaducts, six underground bridges, 38 overpasses, five additional bridges, 43 underpasses, 115 culverts of various sizes, and 12 intersections, including a crossing of the National Highway. The China Cola Bridge 1915 is a remarkable infrastructure comprising four road facilities, including two maintenance and operation centers. Renowned as the world's longest bridge, it spans an impressive length of 3860 meters. The bridge showcases two towering column structures positioned 223 meters apart. With three lanes in each direction, it boasts a total of six lanes. Notably, the China Cola Bridge 1915 has contributed to an annual savings of $85 million. It's worth highlighting that the lower part of the roadbed is elevated approximately 70 meters above the water level, allowing smooth passage for large ocean-going vessels. However, the bridge's location presents unique challenges such as strong winds, high seismic activity, and the presence of multi-tiered container ships. To ensure the bridge's aerodynamic stability, a double hull beam design was implemented, considering the critical role of strong winds for a suspension bridge with such an extensive span. The design also took into account the potential risk of collisions with large ships, considering the frequent passage of very large container ships and cruise ships beneath the bridge. Situated on the seabed, the foundation and supports of the bridge are positioned at approximately 45 meters on the Asian coast and 37 meters on the European coast. The construction of the Chinacola Bridge in 1915, connecting the European and Asian coasts of the Dardanelles, cost 2.545 billion euros. It involved 5,100 individuals and 740 units of construction equipment. The bridge's completion will bring significant benefits to Turkey, including an estimated annual savings of 415 million euros in fuel and emissions. It's predicted to have a positive economic impact of approximately 5.5 billion euros per year, generating 118,000 jobs and increasing GDP by 2.4 billion euros. This development eliminates the need for ferries, streamlining travel, and commerce. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by liking it and subscribe to the Dawn Luxury channel. Be sure to check out our previous videos as well.